now for um, foreign policy of the Institute of Technology for Europe. Basically, it was basically research software because um, I'm a chemist and I'm, I'm from the software. So we can talk any other software about it. It was very interesting. We can use the tools without human beings. So uh, I'm going to use Scorpion and uh, Forecast software to do the performance and uh, they um, they can be installed very easily. The first thing is um, that I will do is I, I'll create a user named Scorpion and uh, it, it should be the same without the password. Uh, I'll just keep pressing enter and at the end the user, the user was created. So uh, the IDs of uh, this group involves a nickname to all the clusters. I think we should create this group right after the meeting in Sudan um, in, the, in, the, in the cluster so that uh, you can then do the scorpion account. So the group, uh, the user is created. Now um, I'll create a directory named slash software um, and uh, then I'll copy the, uh, I'll copy the scorpion software in that directory. I'll also make another directory uh, for scratch files and uh, this will be called as slash software slash scratch and uh, in this directory all the uh, temporary files will be written by the, uh, by the software. So now the first thing is to copy the software tools into these directories um, uh, or, or, or maybe before that um, we, we need to configure some permissions because uh, we use we created these tools uh, these uh, directories using sudo commands so we will not have access to those directories so I'll first um, make the user hash me a member of group Gaussian and then I will uh, tell the computer that uh, this directory slash software is owned by user Hashmi and the group Gaussian. So now all the subdirectories will also be on a similar way. Um, let me see here. Yeah. I'll also make another directory, this one, and then assign permissions. So now we need to assign this permission 770 to Gaussian folder, otherwise um, Gaussian software doesn't run if you have triple send permission. But for scratch directory, we'll keep the permission to triple uh, send so that uh, any software can write onto the scratch directory. So I'll now jump to the slash software and uh, I'll just change the screen. Now I will copy the software I have in NFS slash software uh, slash uh, Gaussian and Orca. I have two software for here. So I'll completely copy the Gaussian directory in which Gaussian will now install this machine as well. And, and, uh, they will be copied uh, over here. Now, similarly, I'll copy Orca software. I have uh, extracted Orca in the uh, NFS as well. Uh, so I'll just copy that directory over here as well. Similarly, I have copied the multi WFN as well. Uh, now we need to add these uh, software tools to a bash profile or bash RC so that uh, you can use it. And Gaussian is simply extracted. I can tell you that this is simply extracted in its folder. And now I will tell the bash RC file uh, about how to use it. So first we do cd to download the home directory and then nano dash dot bash RC. Enter. So this is our bash RC. And at the end here, we will add our stuff. So I'm adding a few lines over here. Uh, first of all, uh, 
these are the variables for going zero and nine. I have disabled them by connecting so that at one band will be one. Um, the Gaussian spread that we just exported, then Gaussian 16, expose G16 root, and then um, give it the G16 profile path. For Orca, you need to add these lines. And for multi WFN, I have added these two lines. All right, so then we're going to save this. And now I will show this bash profile. To reload it, now if I write G16, it should start working. Similarly, if I write Orca, it should it should actually be called by this uh, command. It means that uh, this software started working. And now if I uh, use them from the login node, uh, they, they would be able to use it. So now I will also install Gromax so that it can be used on the cluster as well. It can be installed by this command, sudo it install Gromax. It is installing the Gromax software. And here we go. So if I call it DMX, you can see that Gromax is also working now. So now this node is actually ready uh, to run this job. If I come back to the login node now, now you can see that uh, there is a job running on node number one. If I do a control tell me the configuration, node number two is idle, which we just configured, and three to five they are um, they are configured, so they are in the, in the frame. So uh, this is how you you set up different software tools, and then you can simply call them using uh, using the FX script. Uh, I'm not going into the details of the FX script in this video because it's out of the scope of the video, but uh, you can go and uh, have a look at uh, the FX script on the Zelle website, and if you call any software through FX 